Taurus, the awakened dreamer here to give you a timeless love tarot reading. So whenever you find yourself guided or drawn to this video, it's most definitely meant for you feeling a little bit distracted in your energy. But um, I do want to remind you in this moment to go ahead and like the video, of course. Do head on down below and leave me a comment about your situation, how it resonates, this reading, um, or some emojis. And don't forget to, of course, subscribe to this lovely channel if you haven't done so already. But um, when meditating on your energy overall for the reading, of course, in the subject for the subject of love, the message that came through is a connection that teaches you something. A connection that teaches you something. So let's shift things on over. Um, and get this started. We're going to see how many cards Spirit wants to give um, us for the from the Mystic Mondays tarot deck. And while I do some initial shuffling, um, bear with me, <laughs> while I do the initial shuffling, keep in mind general reading, timeless love read for the sign of Taurus, uh, whatever placements you have within your chart all apply. Um, due to it being general, take what resonates, leave what doesn't for somebody else. Um, and, uh, let's see here. If you're here to hear about a Taurus, you're more than welcome to join, of course, especially for these love readings. And, um, make sure to check out your other placements within your chart for more messages. You just never know. And, um, I'm also accepting requests at this time for personal readings. So just head on down below to the description box where you'll see the options pricing in my email. And I'll most definitely get that started for you. Just reach out. All right. For Taurus, thank you, Spirit, for their love situation. For Taurus, my lovely Taurans. Interesting, and bear with me as I swap that one around. I'm just being guided to place them as they properly are meant to for the reading. Let's move things down a bit. <laughs> Bear with me, these are a bit slippery. We have Justice at the bottom of the deck, um, as well as manif the Magician card, as I was about to call it, the Manifestation card. Uh, feeling like a lot of you are wrapped up in a connection or thinking about one from the past that you desired a level of justice from, right? Or feeling like it was your sort of justice from a past situation previous to that. Feeling like you needed the scale to balance out in one way, shape, or form as you're, you were taught something about yourself, about how you were growing, about how your world was meant to develop, on uh, about what you deserve, a level of completion, right? Allowing yourself to remember that this connection is meant to teach you a lot about yourself and who you're meant to wrap yourself up with, and maybe even more than just that. And a lot of you developing your manifestation skills all the meanwhile within this connection, trying to manifest the success within this uh, love connection or connection in general, or simply doing your best to manifest a lot of other success in your life while seeing where things go with them. Okay, interesting start. And so we're beginning the five card spread with the High Priestess. Ooh, I'm hearing my intuition tells me this is right. It just feels right to you or you just get that gut feeling that they're meant for you, at least for this time being, for this chapter of your life. Feeling as if... Eh, if they teach you, this connection teaches you to trust that intuition. It reminds you to always look within for the answers rather than to kind of look outside of you to other people and situations for their opinions and how they went about it, realizing that it's your own experience, your own life, your own connection. Feeling like a lot of people uh, around you could be very opinionated or critical of you and this other individual. And for some of you, I feel like it's more than one person. Um, it, again, this doesn't have to be love oriented, but it most definitely could be. It could definitely be friendship or family um, oriented, but moving on. Uh, feeling as if once again, you're being pushed by spirit and universe to trust that third eye opening, that intuition, that beautiful Taurus intuition, uh, and then your spiritual connection as well to help you uh, develop what's between the two of you or to just move forward in the direction you're meant to. A lot of you feeling as if it's working out in your favor when you look within for those answers, trust your intuition once again, or look to your team of guides who are there to assist you. And I'm here and we'll get there. I know we will. And I feel like a lot of you are just kind of trying to weigh out the pros and cons as I look at the imagery and feeling as if you're, 
it's just kind of like trying to ride the waves but it's not really easy to at times feeling like there's like just a lot of lessons wrapped up in in who you're thinking about at this time the world things are meant to change meant to develop meant to continue to end and come to be you know what i mean that's just the way life is that's the way you need to kind of view this at this time feeling like the connection's just sort of up in the air is the vibe i'm getting but you just feeling like they're your whole world even if they're not side by side with you at this time feeling like you can't just simply get them out of your mind you know sort of at times being pushed by spirit and the universe to review the things you've learned between the two of you or the things you've learned about them why what at times feeling like they're a bit of a mirroring effect reflecting back to you uh, things that you do that piss other people off excuse my language or uh, just annoy people or uh, at times learning about your body language i feel the need to say as well how a conversation can be going well and then you tense up or uh, you know become a little awkward and how that affects things uh, feeling like you're just learning more about who you're meant to be in this lifetime and how to adjust things to work in your favor not just in a love situation or a connection situation but even outside of that thinking about how that can improve things immensely for you in connections for your work and other situations right as you're obviously going to end up interacting and meeting plenty of new people moving forward as your life continues to evolve and change and some of you need the reminder that will come through in small ways to allow for the connection to develop and unravel the way it's meant to feeling like at times you kind of want to control it or keep it the same and that might be the other person feeling that way but then it's like let's just let things kind of flow in the way they're meant to and just again ride the waves see where things are meant to go you never know strength You're stronger than you know and i feel like for some of you this is a message coming through to from your guides reminding you that as you sort through this and that and learn about yourself and again people and situations you're meant to be wrapped up with but then it's at times feeling like that other person reminds you of how strong you are i'm here oh that's not the case uh so for some of you it just feels like you have to sort of dig for the inner strength within this connection as you feel very pushed away from them or you feel like, again, you're just uh, learning so much and it's overwhelming. Uh, feeling like you are just shining your stripes these days and it might rub that person the wrong way. Or you might feel as if they uh, need to kind of accept the way you're changing and developing, how your life is unraveling. A level of sort of choices needing to be accepted by one uh, of you or both of you. Feeling like you're too the reminder coming through that you're two very different individuals this isn't very like two similar people kind of getting together or being together and connected it feels like very kind of opposites attract or we're just kind of wrapped up with each other in one way shape or form and so needing to accept that the other person's completely different on one end but then to allow them to change and grow and make decisions on their own and you know remembering that a connection is two individuals coming taking care of themselves making choices together at times but also separately and then coming together in a healthy way um feeling like at times you guys lose that that feeling or that you, you need that reminder at times i just got a um, message from one of your guides and it's um not appropriate we're moving on five of wands feeling like at times there's a bit of conflict within this connection feeling like it's a bit of a never-ending battle to make it work or feeling like it's just that's why there's so many lessons to be learned but realize that it's happening for a reason right the ups the downs the lefts the rights the lessons wrapped up in it all you need to experience this right imagine if you didn't learn all the things you're learning from them or from the situation itself the connection it's just it's allowing you to kind of uh, take that chaos that stress that uh, at times big question mark it feels like and just uh, straighten things out figure it out uh, whether it's making that connection work or just moving elsewhere and taking that knowledge and wisdom and putting it toward a uh, for uh, toward a healthier connection if you will as it feels like some for some of you they make you a bit on edge or nervous or just make you question yourself right and as you sort of change and grow and try to show off a bit and now i'm hearing embrace that you're a taurus for some of you don't have that taurus pride and and need to kind of embrace that you are who you are right and you're a unique uh, uh, grounded kind of um, a little bit all over the place type, type of sign and it, it's okay embrace who you are 
uh, being aligned with the high priestess it feels like again you're going to be pushed to trust that third eye opening your intuition your spiritual connection to help you move through some of the chaos or ups and downs or try to sort through the lessons that are being taught at this time or kind of uh, put very blatantly in front of your face make it made it very apparent and you just needing to again ride the waves and allow yourself to trust what you already know and what you're learning and gaining at this time and we're moving on to the Ten of Swords in reverse, and Spirit couldn't decide at first if this was meant to be in the upright position or not, but we left it in reverse. It's not time for this to end yet. It feels like for some of you, the ending of this connection is on the horizon, but it hasn't ended yet. Or feeling like at times a lot of chaos or uh, noise, or it just feels like one or you or both of you can't let things go, or it just feels like you can't sort of uh, remove yourself from the situation uh, how do I put this? I'm hearing you're not getting it, feeling that the person doesn't get you, or simply just holds on to a past way of being that you used to be, or a past version of you, or holds on to past issues that you guys used to have, or your past uh, bad decisions, and it's like, come on, man, we, we all grow, we all learn, we all make bad choices, you know, I need for both of you to kind of look in the mirror at times and reflect on oneself, Right, instead of initially kind of jumping to this uh, judgmental kind of critical state of being where the other person, you have to remember, I feel like the other person is very, very critical and judgmental towards their self already, or they already have other people in their life kind of chiming in in that sense. So a need for you to, to look in the mirror and just remember that you know, we're all working a work in progress, right? We all have our kind of insecurities and you don't want to sort of uh, make theirs grow. You want to help them grow in a positive direction as you both change and grow and develop as individuals, remembering to come back together as healthy, uh, healthy individuals to connect together to help each other grow in a positive way once again. And allowing for yourself to bring color to their life and not more chaos. Um, as I reverse these, bear with me. And being aligned with the strength card, feeling as if at times you bring strength to the connection uh, or vice versa, and at other times you strip it away. And needing to ask yourself, why is it that at times I can't let things go or they can't? Why is it that, and how does that affect things in a positive way and a negative way? Asking yourself a lot of important questions as you're being pushed by spirit, spirit in the universe, excuse me, to learn this and that to gain a new sense of knowledge about yourself, about them, again, who and what you're meant to be wrapped up around uh, with, and to accept this new knowledge as a beautiful form of abundance. All right? So, Taurus, I hope this reading was truly helpful. As always, don't forget to, to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, don't forget to email me about booking a personal reading. Wishing you nothing but the best at this time. Sending you love and light, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Taurus.